Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry our God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And we don't get into the metaphysics behind the sons of God and the daughters of men. Whether you want to say the son of God or the son of gods and the daughter of men. And what does this actually mean? On a metaphysic and an esoteric level. Now, for the most part, there's a few things I got to break down so you can be fully aware of this concept. Because here's the thing, right? When you're going back to reading old Bibles and things of that nature, these people who have wrote these Bibles and these scriptures are coming from a religious aspect. And anybody who's coming from a religious aspect, you need to know that they don't have the full totality of the story. And what do I mean by that, right? You ever been in a social group and you have one person telling a story, right? You're not getting the full totality of the story because you're only getting one perception. Now, for the most part, they always say that there's two sides to a story. Some say that there's three sides to a story. So, for the most part, right, when you're getting a story from one person's outlook, you're only seeing it from their perspective. So, just take that to a spiritual and esoteric nature also. And you'll be able to understand that each Bible and each religion, you're just basically getting one spirit, perception of what actually is going on now none of them lied it's just when another person who's lost in religion receive this information and get influenced by it and start to take it in a way that is not necessarily understood to the point that the spirit give its own power away and not understanding that this religion or this bible is trying to teach you that you have this actual power that whatever this messiah is actually presenting to you so for the most part we're going to get into that also now let's break down also the terms now when anytime you kind of look up or do the etymology behind sun s-u-n or s-o-n or malefic or male or positive, um, you're going to get into the circumstance of this is what we're talking about when we're talking about masculinity. Now, for the most part, this is not backed and supported by the physical shapes and forms that you see as male and female. For an example, anytime these are these energies are not exclusive. So anytime you see a representation, a shape and form that represent a male or a female, this is something that's after the fact. This is something that has became has became to be due to the fact of manifestation. You see what I'm saying? But this is not where it comes from. It actually comes from an essence, a presence. And this actual energy signature is not exclusive to the actual shape and form. It is just a vehicle to express the actual energy signature. Now, when I say energy signature, you need to know that the shape and form in a lighter spectrum or in the esoteric realm will be energy. So when I say signature, signature is a spirit or persons or personality or characteristics that can, in, that can inhabit that energy shape and form as a vessel at the moment. So you need to know anytime you hear the word energy, that is a higher frequency version of a shape or form. And when we talk about a shape or a form, you can just call that a body. You know what I'm saying? Or star or whatever. Fluid, vibrations. Or the, the physical representation of a frequency, one that you can actually touch or feel, whether in a lighter spectrum or a heavier spectrum. Okay, so now let's start to break these two down. So when you hear concepts of, like, sons of God and daughters of men, now anytime you hear the word daughter, or that is, cor that is correlated to the feminine energy. So regard disregard the physical shape and form that you see as a representation of what you would call a daughter or a woman or a lady. You see what I'm saying? Um, the energy signature that is not exclusive to it is just the energy itself, which it means receiving. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the socket. And the masculine energy is like the plug. So for the most part, here's where you get the son or sons. And here's where you get the daughter or daughters. So replace the sons with actually a forceful energy or pushing out and replace the daughters with actually a receiving energy or taking in. So you can replace the daughters with the feminine energy and you can, re you can replace the sons with the positive energy. Just to keep in your mind that these things are not exclusive to actual, to actual men and women. See what I'm saying? So when I say you are a daughter of men also and you have, a, you have the traits of a male, you won't get confused on what I'm talking about. Now, check this out. Now we're going to have to get into... What is a son of God? What is a daughter of man? Now, for the most part, what is a son of God? Now, you need to know that your spirit is no thing, no shape, and form. So, you're, it's basically trying to say that you are a spirit and you get to create. So, a son of God, right? A son of God is a light form or wave or consciousness or will or chakra that's created by a spirit. So, for the most part, when you create a light, when you create a mirror, when you create an appearance, when you create an influence... Right? That becomes a son of God. Now, what makes it a son of God? Because the God is what we're calling the spirit. 
You see what I'm saying? And when we call it the sun, the sun is light. It brings light. So this is what you create to be aware of yourself and the external realm to be aware of you. So when we say a son of God, it's you, it's you utilizing your masculine energy as a spirit. So what is the masculine energy? Pushing out. That anything under the masculine energy is malefic, positive, male, you know what I'm saying, forceful, pushing out, external, yang. So for the most part, that is when you create a son of God. So it's basically you creating your solar plexus, you creating your Lucifer. So for the most part, when you go to your, your Bible, based upon the Hebrew Bible, it's basically trying to explain that the, the spirit that y'all are following, the solar plexus, name is lucifer so it gave that's the name it gave itself that's the awareness it gave itself so for the most part that's why everything is created through it it's sun sign it's solar plexus so if you want to understand what is a solar system a solar system is a system that your smaller shapes and forms uh have been created and surround your solar plexus so when you when you have a solar plexus and start to create many shapes and forms that represent it feminine versions and masculine versions of it, this become the system that surrounds your solar plexus. So for the most part, your solar system is the system you created to surround your solar plexus and your spirit inhabits your solar plexus to give it an influence or a character or a personality so it can have a form of direction that everybody can see it moving in as far as that light spectrum. Now, so when we, anytime you hear the son of God, basically you're, this is a light body. A light body chakra or wave. It's a light body or form or wave created by a spirit. That is the son of God. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, it's a, it's a masculine energy that you can physically see from a spirit. So it's like a spaceship, a sun, a planet, a chakra, an influence, a wave, a consciousness, an idea. That's a son of God. Now, what is a daughter of men? Uh, so we know that that's pushing out an influence. That's the son of God. Now, what is a daughter of men? Now we're getting into the receiving energy, right? So the a daughter of men is a shape or form that is a, a that is a shape or form that's created by the light body or the solar plexus. So keep that in mind. A daughter of men is a shape or form created by the light body, created by the son of God. So if you are the God and you create a son. Right, which is your light body, your light form, and then say that light form creates a form out of itself that will become the daughter of men. Now, a daughter of men is a shape or form that can inhabit a solar plexus, that can inhabit a solar system. You see what I'm saying? That can inhabit your light bodies. So, where is your solar system? Where is your solar plexus? Inside your body. So, that solar plexus created a daughter's of men. To go into. You see what I'm saying? So your spirit created a light body, which is a son of God. And then your sons of God created a daughters of men, which is a physical representation, a more dense, that can receive influence and, and still represent the actual son of God, but in a feminine aspect, a.k.a. being able to receive influence, being able to receive itself onto itself. To experience itself. So this is a daughters of men. This is the physical shape and form that the light body have created. To inhabit. To go into as a vessel. You see what I'm saying? So you can almost say that your spirit created ghosts. Which is your solar plexus and your solar system. And then that creates a daughter of men. Which is a physical shape and form. A.K.A. the water and the earth aspect being dried off. To actually go into. To inhabit. To experience itself. Through the realm of reality of looking out. This is why I say when you a spirit and you go into your body. You look out through each conscious realm of reality. Through that spectrum. Through your eyes, your ears, your mouth. and Whatever you're vibrating in at the moment. You see what I'm saying? So that's what a daughter of men is. A daughter of men is... is in, now, and reason why they call it daughter of men, because it is a feminine representation of the masculine energy of the men. And I told y'all, when you say sons of God, that's a son. Now, a son becoming a man, that is a solar system becoming aware. So that is, it's come, you are able to be aware of your creations. So when you are aware of your creations, you want to bask. You want to bask in your creations. You want to settle in your creations. Think, think about it from a non-physical point of view. Think about you create an idea and then you make a business out of it. That idea was just the light body of it and then the business that actually get manifested out of it to the point that now you get to walk into an office and be like, damn, I'm in this business. That became the daughters of men. And the son of God was the idea of it in the first place. You see what I'm saying? So 
Look at it in that aspect. Um, so you went into that form. You went into that body. You went into that business. You went into that concept to sit down and observe and soak into. You know what I'm saying? And give it more life. Give it more children. Give it more nourishment. Give it more care. You know what I'm saying? So you're in your daughters of men. So when I say you are the son of gods and the daughters of men, don't get lost by one man or woman philosophical point of view because they're following a lost spirit that wants you to see the aspect through their through their reality. You see what I'm saying? So let's do a quick rundown so you can quickly understand. Now, what is a solar system? A solar system is your solar plexus creating many shapes and forms of it that represent masculine and feminine versions. And they all surround the solar plexus. So it become a system for your solar plexus. And your solar plexus inhabits your spirit because your spirit created that first light for itself, which will be your son of God. You see what I'm saying? So your son of God is your son. If you are a God, you have a son. You have a light spectrum. You have a sun sign. You have a solar plexus. You have a consciousness. You see what I'm saying? You, and you created that to be aware of yourself. To be a smokeless flame. That's like your smokeless flame. That's your light bodies. So your spirit can inhabit those as a vessel. Now once your spirit go into those as a vessel. But that realm of reality is very light. That's you already coming from the 7th, 8th, and ninth dimension. And sliding into the 4th, 5th, and 6th four, fifth, and sixth dimension. By even creating a solar system. Creating a light spectrum. You see what I'm saying? To go into to be aware of yourself. To, to even be create a chakra wheel. A body of water. Now you in the fourth, fifth, or sixth dimension as a spirit because you brought your spirit down into your creations because those creations is more heavy and it's more waters. So for the most part, that becomes your son of God. Now for the most part, or your sons of God, all your light spectrums, your light bodies. Now your light bodies create a physical shape and form or representation so it can inhabit and live out that characteristics and, and charge it up and give it life with that masculine energy, a.k.a. the son of God. So for the most part, it, it goes in like a plug. To the socket of what it just created. The daughters of men. A.K.A. the physical shape and form that represent that represents it. Uh, any shape and form that can receive. You in a body that's receiving all day. You even received your goddamn solar system. A.K.A. when you created a son of God. And you created this daughters of men. That's how you, re you received yourself. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part. The daughters of men is any shape and form that can receive. So when you create a daughters of men. Now you could now it can receive it can receive your light body to go into that and create its own world. Create its own world. Now you are a spirit and a light body that have created a physical shape and form to go into to create its own world. You see what I'm saying? Now, for the most part, that is the son of God and the daughters of men. So don't be looking at the Bibles and be like, oh, so what happened to the sons of God and what happened to the daughters of men? You looking at them and you reading about your goddamn self. So you need to know what kind of son and God and what kind of daughter and man you actually are in this motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. And the reason why they call it a daughter of man, because it's a daughter, a.k.a. it is a shape and form that is able to receive. This is why the daughter or Eve or feminine energy is always tied to the Eve or night or dark or sleep or, or receiving or the container or cold. Cold means hold. And that means a container as far as the yin, something to go in to. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's dealing with... um. That period and all, and then the period of time also manifested into the blood flow that actually correlate and externalize into what y'all call a period and things of that nature. So for the most part, this is why the feminine energy and then in the Bible, they try to talk about it negatively. But since y'all have been deifying these characters as real men and women for so long, y'all start to look at the actual characteristics through these actual people as as if that's what it is, where it's just trying to tell you this is this an energy signature. When I say the daughters of men, it's just us. We have fell short when we started creating physical shapes and forms for ourselves. So we trapped ourselves into our own light bodies. We trapped we trapped ourselves into our own physicality. We trapped our, ourselves into our own earth and water. This is why earth and water represents the fem feminine energies, and earth will be the left brain of it, and and water will be the right brain of it. You see what I'm saying? So for the most part, um, we lost ourselves into that for the most part and we've been creating sciences to remind ourselves to uh separate from our lower natures aka the feminine energy you know what i'm saying so it have manifested so far down the line to the point that the feminine energy have became a, an, an emotional wave and an emotional wave has been something that we have been lost in as spirits aka this big overall body of water so this is why they always call the fourth and fifth sixth dimension as the forever hell or the, the forever the never ending fall or what they call that um 
forever fall in hole, whatever the fuck that, that never ends, whatever the fuck that call that, whatever like that. But that's basically what it is because it's like a water flow and we keep adding influence and emotion to it. AKA we keep adding the feminine energy to it to the point that it becomes never ending and it becomes too deep. And once it becomes too deep, you can fall and drown forever in all these emotions and feelings that we keep creating. So the more we, the more we access more of the masculine energy, AKA lightening up, AKA utilizing our light bodies, not the feminine, not getting lost in our, the uh, physical daughters of men, but getting, but, actually remembering that we are spirits in the light bodies and then we'll be able to know that we can actually take our light bodies out from out from the daughters of men and actually go uh, place it into another daughters of men somewhere else or create another son of God in some way shape or form or realize that we are gods in the first place and being and being able to be in your peace or in your space or in your state of being without being confused that you are a part of the son of gods or the motherfucking daughters of men you see what I'm saying but you know a lot of the realm of reality right now is lost in to the daughters of men so y'all have to remember that y'all have to uh, get into the sons of God which is your masculine energies but once y'all get there y'all I'm here to tell you as Archangel Uriel that's the first beginning of being lost and once you get back there you may share possibilities of getting lost again so for the most part once you get to the son of God that's you actually understanding the fourth fifth and sixth dimension you might be disclosing emotions but you getting emotionally waved by yourself and you thinking you need to correlate your own direction aka you get into your own lost lights again so for the most part once you reach the son of God area again you need to understand that you're not that either and then once you understand you're not that you will start to get a clear understanding that you're not the masculine or the feminine energy you are a spirit that's actually has no gender and based upon you being able to pick what spectrum that you want to be on you get you get to create what life you want to create you see what I'm saying? So keep that in mind, whether you're in, you're in this lifetime or you get ready to die and go into another lifetime. But for the most part, that is the actual mes metaphysics behind daughters of men and son of gods. Flight boss, bitch, goddamn air. Eee, love y'all.